Grade 6 Math Number 5.3 Proportions with Models A proportion is a statement that shows two ratios are equivalent to each other. They're equal to each other. Two fractions that form a proportion are said to be proportional or in proportion to each other. Emma wanted to make a model of her house. For every foot in size of a real house, she used one inch for her model. That's kind of important. Every foot in the real house was one inch for the model. If the front of her house measured 10 feet tall and 25 feet across, what will the measurements for her model be? Well, 10 feet would be 10 inches because one foot equals one inch and 25 feet would be 25 inches, see? And they're in proportion to each other. That was an easy one. Emma baked three pies in five hours. Tala baked six pies in 10 hours. Their pie baking is proportional to each other because if you look at these, the first reason is when multiplied by a form of one, two over two, see, numerator and denominator is the same, so it makes one, so it's a form of one. Three times two is six, and five times two is 10, and it's the same as Tala's. The other reason we know it's in proportion is when we cross multiply the extremes and the means, their products are the same. Three times 10 is 30, and five times six is 30. We learned that in the last video. When we have six orange dots and nine red dots, the proportion is six to nine, six over nine. We know that they're in proportion to each other because we can multiply them by a form of one. Nine times two is 18, and six times two is 12, see? So we know they're in proportion. So our textbook says that we can find proportions by finding common denominators like this one up here. One half is equal to five tenths because we can multiply them by a form of one, five over five, and it'll become five tenths, see? But we also know we can use this method. We can cross multiply to find equal products with the extremes and the means. Two times six is 12 and three times four is 12. Sometimes it's too hard to multiply the means and extremes because the numbers are just getting too big. Sometimes it's better to just find a common denominator. What does 7 need to become 21? Well, 7 times 3 is 21. That means 2 is going to be multiplied by 3, and then that would be 6. We could also do 2 times 21 is 42, so what does 7 need to be 42? It needs a 6. So either way, we're going to get 6, but if the denominator is too big on one of them, you can just do the common denominator way. So now you understand proportions and how two fractions can be in proportion to each other, right? This isn't that hard. We're going to start talking about percentages, and we're going to change percentages and fractions back and forth to each other. Keep trying. Keep up the good work. I know you're doing fine. Keep plugging. I'll see you next video. Bye.